In this video, we will derive the continuity equation in differential form. We have derived this equation in the integral form in my previous lecture. The link is provided in the description of this video. So, why we need the differential form of continuity equation? In integral analysis, we can know the properties of flow at the boundaries of this control volume to have the in-depth knowledge of the fluid properties at each point of the flow domain we need the differential form of analysis and we need the differential equations we have this integral form of continuity equation in this equation the first term is the rate of change of density due to mass flow inside a control volume and the second term represents the mass flow rate across a control surface this integral form of continuity equation we need to convert this area integral into volume integral for that purpose consider a control volume which is shrinking to a very small size we can convert this area integral into a volume integral by using divergence theorem. This divergence theorem provides a relationship between a volume integral and the area integral. Here G represents any vector which can be any property of the fluid. It can be velocity, pressure or momentum and this del is divergence of this property that means how the property is changing in x y or z so del is a gradient or del operator which is a divergence of the vector and represents how the property is changing in x y and z Divergence theorem is used to transform a volume integral of a divergence of a vector into an area integral over the surface that defines the volume. This control volume is defined by six faces. That means six surfaces are defining this control volume. So, we need to convert this area integral into a volume integral. If we compare these two area integrals, the only difference here is that G is equal to rho V. If we replace this G with rho V, we will get the equation in this form where G has been replaced by rho V. We can see that now there are two volume integrals which can be added together to form this equation this is a volume integral which is applicable to any control volume regardless of its shape and size to fulfill this condition this highlighted part of this equation should be equal to zero when we put this highlighted part of this equation equal to zero we will get the equation in this form which is the differential form of continuity equation because there is no integrals now available in this equation only the partial derivatives are available so this is the differential form of continuity equation and this is a compact form of continuity equation if we want to expand this equation by replacing the del so we will get the continuity equation in this expanded form in which the first term is the rate of change of de density and the other three terms are rate of change of x velocity y velocity and z velocity with respect to x y and z so we have the continuity equation in this compact form and in this expanded form and this is the 
compressible form of continuity equation because it is applicable to both compressible flows and incompressible flows. As we know that most of the flows are incompressible, that means its value of density do not change with respect to time. That means density is constant. So incompressible form of continuity equation can be written in this form.